I heard about this video a long time ago. The scariest ghosts of YouTubers caught on tape. So, we're gonna see. Let's go ahead and get to it. Following paranormal YouTube videos stand out from the usual fakes and jump scares. Take a look at these videos. I'm still a skeptic though. Number 14. A YouTuber named Sean Wells, 2001, is convinced that something unholy is lurking in his attic late at night. It always starts with a weird static sound, almost like an industrial fan, even though nothing is plugged in. Sean Could be air conditioning. Overnight to see what happens. The mechanical humming sound doesn't go away, and then at 3 a.m., new disturbances are heard. Ooh. And if you are wondering why Sean doesn't go up there and see what it is for himself, here's why. Oh, that gave me chills. There's no way a raccoon or any other creature would have enough strength or intelligence to lift up the attic door like that. It could be fake. Sean's video is either 100% paranormal or just a prank. It probably is a prank. Which one do you think it is? Because I really can't tell for sure. Number 13. Tasty Pickle is the name of a YouTuber who has been having a strange house problem. Time and time again, he goes outside only to see a figure in the window. Despite there being no one in the room, there seems to be no rhyme or reason as to why this happens. Sometimes it does, and sometimes it doesn't. He shows that no one is hiding in the room, and then goes outside to see if he can capture the elusive figure on camera. This is him, right? Actually, figures. I actually got on safe. No way. The sun kind of gets in the way, but look closely at the top window, and you'll see a very faint outline in the center. That was too quick. Formless. You can Could be fake. Gives me chills, though. Holy. <laughs> okay. Give me your best guess as to what you think this could be. Light. Paranormal or otherwise. Number 12, a paranormal investigator who goes by Bakersfield Paranormal Services sadly lost his mother and is filled with grief. Even though he is very distraught, he wants to communicate with her. He goes to the cemetery with his equipment and approaches his mother's marker. At first, he asks some basic questions and has her respond by playing with the lights. Are you always around me and my, my wife and my kids? Wow. Thank you. Most of them. Um, you love my wife? Okay, I got it. I, I got it. After a while, he pulls out what he calls a ghost box, which supposedly allows his mother to communicate using various radio frequencies. He believes other spirits are crowding around the box and keeping his mom from communicating. Mom. Whoa. The thing she says, I'm trying to. That's what it sounds like, actually. It could be fake. Could be a recording box, actually. I'm <coughs> sorry, I'm a little sick. Wow. Number 11. Marcus Webb has been feeling a presence in his house and decides to start recording. A white specter passing by is what he claims to find. Did the YouTube video stop? I can't see anything. I'm not sure if this is a dusty cobweb or something truly paranormal. All I know is that Marcus felt like he was not alone, and the camera verified that something moved nearby, which is definitely a creepy coincidence. Number 10. A YouTuber named Lee Fox is hanging out in his attic because they heard some noises earlier that they believe were paranormal. Now they are trying to instigate the ghost into revealing itself. 
Lee doesn't have to say very much before the ghost takes the bait. Stop hiding and show yourself. Give us a sign. What was that? We just got something on video. Well, this could so be a speck of dust. The timing is too much of a coincidence to deny. Let me know if you believe Lee Boggs captured something on Whoa. tape. Or if you think they've been Maybe spending just too dust. much time in the attic. But then again, they both saw it. Number nine. A man at work accidentally locks himself in a large attic. He's trying to open the door when he hears a strange noise and decides to start recording. He thinks out loud that it could be a rat or a pipe as he cautiously continues to film. I'm getting kind of a spooky vibe up here. Right there. There it is again. Soon he realizes that the strange thump is coming from the very top of some steps that he has never seen before. He climbs the steps and suddenly feels like he is no longer alone. That is creepy. Apparently, he was right. Well, why was he locked in there to begin with? Holy shit. Something clatters to the ground and sends him running down the steps. I'm not sure how he managed to get out, but when he did, I'm sure he was glad he had plenty of video evidence to back up his claims. Number 8. A YouTuber named Ariane Childress is a ghost hunter using some sort of paranormal software that I'm not familiar with. It almost looks like split screen night vision with some sort of enhancement feature on the right. Anyway, Ariane uses the program to capture what appears to be an oversized face lingering in her window. Seriously, I'm like looking at this window, there's nothing out there. It looks like there's a face. Well, it looks like a person, yeah, but it could be a distorted she image. She feeling watched in real life when she turned the app on and pointed it towards the window. Meanwhile, the colors continue to switch from pitch black to a gray discolored face. Not normal. Be hmm. sure to let me know what this app is and how it works if you have any knowledge. Number 7. A YouTuber named Joseph Chan Sloan has been experiencing paranormal happenings around his house for quite some time now. Most of the activity happens around his bedroom, though no part of the house seems off limits. After giving a brief tour of his house, Joseph turns out most of the lights and goes to bed with the camera running. He wants to catch the ghost in action. It isn't long before everything he was Could be faked again. Whoa. Whoa. Joseph wakes up and grabs the camera. He races around the house trying to find an intruder, but comes up with nothing. Let me know if you think this is real. And if not, how he did this all by himself. Well, he didn't film the bathroom, so. A YouTuber named the Ghost Metalhead 666 is filming an empty room in the castle of King Henry VIII when suddenly a visitor materializes before his very eyes. Look in the bottom left corner to see it. To see it. Oh. Oh, that looks like a child. Oh, that gave me chills. That definitely could be real. Oh, that gave me chills. You can see how the toddler starts out on the floor and unsteadily climbs to its feet. The head, arms, and legs are unmistakably human-like. If someone is any good with video editing, then let me know if this is fake or the real thing. Otherwise, as more than one person pointed out in the comments section, Henry VIII did have many stillborns during his reign as king, and this perhaps could be one of them. Number five. Explore this guy's voice is so lazy. A YouTube channel that goes to abandoned areas to see what they can find. This was taken during their very first live stream when they were checking out a post office and a general store in the middle of an old ghost town. 
The rickety buildings look ready to collapse at any moment. But what's inside the buildings is not the strangest part of this video. About three and a half minutes into the stream, someone tries to make contact with the group. It looks like a video game. Very good, well filmed. Hello. Hello. No one is on the other side. All they hear is this strange noise. Obviously, he said a group, but I only see one person. One of the viewers, but I don't think their location was ever disclosed. Therefore, it could have just as easily been an old resident of this abandoned town. There's just no way to tell for sure. Also, pay attention and you'll see a faint red light in the distance. I think there's just a light. It was just a cell phone tower or something like that. But then again, there doesn't seem to be any other structures nearby. Just darkness. Number four. This guy's this voice is so lazy. So difficult to see. But when you do, the payoff is worth it. A YouTuber named Past is exploring an abandoned property in Nottingham. Pay Nottingham. To the Britain? Very last window during this clip. Even then, I doubt you'll see it. Nottingham, Britain? Now, here it is again, with the paranormal sighting highlighted. Oh, that's, that's just a light. Something very large appears to move quickly in the very last That's just window. a light. However, this window leads outside and is two floors from the ground. With this in mind, what could this moving object be? It's a light. Number three. That's all it is. This white ladder is walking down the driveway. No one's touching it. No <sighs> one's around it. Well, let's see the top one. reaction of Tony Dode as he videotapes a walking ladder. Show the whole ladder. The ladder clatters down the driveway as if someone is guiding it in short steps. Show the whole ladder. I don't get it. Why don't they show the whole ladder? Oh, I don't want to listen to an advertisement right now. Hold on. I'll skip this. <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm a little sick. Oh, was that it? The whole letter? I saw the top of it a little bit. Explanations for this, or have seen this before with your own eyes, then please share your experience. If no one has a proper explanation, well, just, this is one of the most perplexing videos that could be fake. I think I've analyzed on this channel to date. Number well, show the whole ladder. He didn't show the whole ladder. Just the bottom. Watching a boxing match with some friends. When he catches an unwanted visitor outside, pay attention to the sliding glass window as he passes Holy shit. Around. Was that Donald Trump? Looks like Donald Trump. For some reason it looked like Donald Trump, I'm sorry. An impossibly large creature with a long twisted neck appears to be regarding the group from the backyard. I will say that something does feel a little staged about this video because no one is talking or even looking at the camera as it passes by. But I guess it could have just been a quiet group of friends. Before we get to number one, my name is Chills and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're I sort of do, but you kind of sound a little life, a bored. I don't know. Instagram at Dylan is chillin YT. And tap that follow button to find out. Follow button. I'm currently doing a super poll on my Instagram. If you believe ghosts are real, then go to my most recent photo and tap the like button. If you tap the like button, DM me saying why. When you're done, come right back to this video to find out the number one entry. Chills merch is now available, and I'm gifting viewers who spend over a hundred dollars with a 100% free Let's do it. t shirt to show my appreciation. This offer won't last forever, so get yours by visiting chillsmerch.com. Also, follow me on Twitter oh my God, at hurry. yt underscore chills because that's where I post video updates. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to hit that subscribe button and the bell beside it, then thank you. Button. This way you'll be notified of the new video I upload every Thursday. Number one, a YouTuber named Dylan H. Let's go to a commercial. Yeah, why does it go to commercial now? No.
Why? Okay, you know what? We're gonna take a break. Wait. He decides to explore an abandoned house with some friends. The home still has some furnishings, including a wall full of creepy paintings of children. The far end of the house is completely dark, and they are hesitant to explore this section. Finally, one of them bravely goes into the darkened corner and comes back shaken. He announces someone is looking at them through the window. Pay attention to the thin beam of light behind him during this clip, because that's the window he's referring to. Someone is at the window. What? Someone was at the window. What? Well, it's kind of really the thin, oh! the thin beam of light silently extinguishes as the window is closed by whoever was on the other side. It's important to know that Whoa. all three friends were close together when this happened. One could be seen on tape, the second was holding the camera, and the third could be heard directly to their right. The trio runs screaming out of the house and never looks back. The East African country of Somalia once had a strong fishing industry protected by a powerful coast guard, but when civil war dissolved the country's naval force in the early 90s, the entire fishing industry collapsed with it, and the once peaceful fishermen had to become pirates to survive. Well guys, uh, that's it for now. Uh, let me know what you think of this video. I gotta go. Peace out, guys.